Hey everybody, JY here with another episode of Gamer Dad. Today I'll be doing level 1 in the Rise of Rome campaign. Uh, I give this one a 6 or 7 out of 10 difficulty because you start out in a pretty exposed location and the computer is going to swarm you from all sides and one of the attacks includes um, at least 8 to 10 cavalry. So I'll just show my unconventional strategy for beating it. I actually abandon the starting base. I, I don't like the location. It's too open, and I just go for like a safer, a safer place. So first thing I'm gonna do is just move down south. And I'm gonna build a government center. I'm gonna build it right over here. And yeah, I'm just going to focus on getting food so I can pump out as many villagers as possible. Now, this is the location you have to defend. There'll be two, there'll be another bridge over here that you need to wall off as well. But, uh, it's a lot easier to defend because you only have to worry about, um, one location essentially. So, once the government center is done, now you can swing over here, and there's some berries and stone that you can mine. So once that's going, once the town center is building, now just take all your troops and move down south now. Don't even bother delaying it, just go. And then yeah, build some houses, because your initial houses will get destroyed. Alright. So I'll put uh, three guys on wood, and these guys will continue getting berries. And we'll have uh, three stone guys. And then we're going to have three builders on, on defense. So this guy will be on defense. Okay. Because there's a, there's, a uh, there's a lot of stuff to build, so and not a lot of time to do it, so that's why I'm picking uh, three guys on defense. And yeah, just make sure your wall off is tight though. Oh, I have uh, two additional idle villagers here, so that's great. And then there, there's just another spot to wall off here. Oh, and one other thing, set all the enemies as neutral so they don't, so your army, initial starting army doesn't chase after uh, villagers and get stuck on the wrong side. And then just make sure to switch it back to enemy later. Alright, and then this guy will extend the wall. This guy will keep walling. Let's make sure they don't get stuck outside. And here we also want a wall. Like so. Alright, so it sounds like my base is already being attacked. Now I'm going to build a shipyard, and I'm going to pump out towers non-stop. So first tower here, and I'm going to upgrade to walls first because that's what they're going to be attacking. So I think that's where I'm the most exposed. Alright, I'm running out of berries, so I'm going to switch to farming. Also gonna build a granary. Okay. 
Whoops. Didn't do a full wall. It looks can be very deceiving when trying to do wall offs. Alright, I'm gonna get sentry towers. I'm gonna get more uh wood choppers. Okay, so this should be a full wall now. Wow, still not a full wall. Okay, I'm just build another tower over here. I'll build some ships on the defense. Okay, good. This looks solid now. Then yeah, you just want a couple more wood choppers because you're going to be uh, low on wood for a while as you get your army up. No big deal though. Good news is they don't build catapults. They do have a ton of cavalry, so this is 12 minute mark and this is how many cavalry the computer sends. So it would be very difficult to defend in this open location here I feel like. So that's why I just like to retreat even though it is a slower approach. I feel like it's still safer, overall. And then, yeah, just make sure you repair the walls and they don't break, break in. Build more houses. Oh, supply block there and didn't even realize it. Don't let your ships get destroyed. So we'll have these guys hold around. Okay, cool. And then just one more tower, because why not? We're pretty solid now. Tons of ships. Yes, pretty gigantic army I feel like, right? So that's why I choose uh, this this approach for defense. It's just so easy to defend in this location versus the other one. In the computer, most of the time they won't come through here, but sometimes, like one out of ten times they do, so it's still safe to build some stone there, and that's why I do that. Just look at all these troops. Just a non-stop stream. Build another tower here. And then a tower here. And do some repairs over here. Okay, and I ran out of stone. So now I'll just mine gold. And now I can focus on breaking out when the time is right. build a marketplace so I can upgrade the range. Alright. So the initial evil computer attacking force is destroyed. Three barracks, uh, three racks, and then uh, also siege workshop. I think okay, these guys should be getting gold. All right, where am I? Where are my wood choppers? 
Okay, that, that was weird. Okay, I'll have him chop wood over here. So now I have a pretty big army of boats. That'll protect me pretty well, I feel like. I can go around harass with it. I don't think um, you can attack any bases from the river. I'm not sure though, but I'll check really quick. It's been a while since I played this level. And then yeah, get the wheel. Get plus one range. Yeah, and then just slowly build out my farms. Okay, so this river ends here. So that's a dead end. Brown keeps sending out cavalry, which is really annoying. These will just die off really quickly though. This guy also on the farm. And I'll send my ships out and see if I can do any damage from from the river. Yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to prepare to break out with uh, three barracks. Alright, get wood shopping upgrade. Yeah, let's see what I can get over here. Alright, and then now we can actually set everybody back to enemy again. Because I'm nice and safe in my base. Don't have to worry about accidentally chasing down villagers that I shouldn't. this part of the wall and uh, see what's out here toggle on automatic reseeding of farms and then yeah start upgrading my infantry oops that was sloppy of me yeah, it doesn't look like I can actually attack any um, any bases from the river. I just wanted to make sure, though. Hmm. Killing my swordsman, though. Let's see. Oh, I can actually go to Iron Age in this level, so I'm actually going to focus on getting the Iron Age. Okay, I have eight farms. I want to go up to nine farms. I think I have too many wood choppers, so I can uh, freeze them up. Okay, a lot of trees over here, so I'll build a new storage pit over here. Okay, there's a storage pit I was able to destroy, but not much else. Okay, so moving back down then. I will just power up to the Iron Age. I think it's probably the simplest thing to do. And then once I do, I will destroy the enemy computer. Alright, so that should be nine farms. Cool. And then I can free up some wood shoppers. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, too many. But I can have these guys do gold and stone, because I'll be freeing up some deposits pretty soon. So, power up to Iron Age. Okay, first I'll build a siege workshop.
Okay, here we go. And then uh, continue upgrading my army. I get bronze shield. Very low on gold. But now I can secure my move out. So I'll go ahead and do that. So there's gonna be some gold here that I'll get. Okay, these is three. Swords and then strike out. There will be a lot of enemy priests though, so that's the only thing I have to be careful about. So I'll pump out some ballistas to help deal with that. Actually, I'll build a siege workshop here for convenience sake. Get cataphracts. Or not cataphracts, but uh, metallurgy, which unlocks cataphracts. So that's why I got it confused. But I don't think Romans can actually get them. That's okay. Oh, and then logistics to free up some supply. Yeah, I'll build a couple ballistas once I have some more gold. Okay, so purple's attacking. They're like some units from the start that they don't, and they don't come back though. Like they don't actually have a base, so once they attack you, then they're gone for good. Upgrade to longsword. Cool, so those guys have been taken care of. Great. Get a ballista to help deal with enemy priests. Hopefully, it won't be an issue though. And then, um, yeah, I'll get coinage, siegecraft, and this wood shopping. Although, yeah, resources are just low. Okay, I'll send these guys up to get gold as well. Cool. Alright, I think I should be safe to move out. I mean, I should be able to take care of the evil enemy priests that I encounter. So yeah, the priest is up here. So that's going to be my first target, is the evil enemy temple. Take out these towers first, though. It's the only target that matters. Once it's done, then I don't have to worry anymore. Ah, they killed my gold, my gold miners. Those jerks. When I wasn't paying attention. That was pretty clever by the AI. That's fine. I'll get my revenge later. First, uh, I'll we'll focus on destroying, destroying yellow completely. villagers though. That's pretty lame. So I'll just send those villagers up here to mine. Deal. Yeah, I should have left a couple of bodyguards for my villagers. That's my mistake. Okay, so I'll just 
destroy here. Destroy this government center. like there's some stone here so I'll go ahead and gather there as well. Alright, so I'll get my gold mining back up. Get my stone mining going again. Okay. I think this should be the last orange building. Start getting some stone. Let these guys get stone as well. Hold like two more ships to replenish all the lost ones. Okay. Orange is still alive, that's frustrating. There we go. So yeah, purple has spent up all their units. Okay, I actually have too many gold miners now, I feel like. Yeah, way too many. Okay, let's we'll have one of them get stone. Okay, I think I'll build a stable so I can scout out where Orange's remaining base is. Not sure why they're not um, considered defeated by now. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now these guys will hunt out the rest of the map. I'm going to split my army in two. And yeah, I don't even bother completing the mission objective of building all these towers because the computer is so weak. You can just go and A move him. The only tricky part is the orange Etruscans because sometimes they have priests and I've lost them before. And that's why I was definitely super cautious about attacking them. But yeah, like, um, I find this area very easy to defend. You don't need a lot of APM. But if you really want a challenge, you can try defending it this way. I found it too frustrating, so I just used my Terran liftoff strategy instead. If you have high APM, you can just do it the way the designers intended. But I feel like with the stone deposit here and the berries here, I think the level designers had that option in mind. Anyways, it's time to, oh, they're attacking my gold miners again. Should have kept some on defense. That's my mistake. Okay, we're chasing my villager. Jerks. Oh, 
go ahead and build a tower here. All right, where are the remaining green buildings? Where are the remaining green buildings? here. I don't know. But yeah, the computer units other than the brown who builds cavalry are all like uh, cool age. So that's why I find it easier to just A move. Once you've got your defense established, you can three racks and just pump out a swordsman. You can probably also get a... probably also get legion upgrade. It's pretty expensive though. Already at my population limit, whatever. Okay, green's not surrendered. Yeah, the only downside to um, doing this though is you just have to find the remaining building units to force a surrender. Okay, I think this should be the last one. No? Okay. Yeah, that's why I need to build a scout. Hmm. Okay, not sure. This is gonna blow out my playtime because it's going to take me forever to figure out where, what spot I missed. Okay, maybe it's up here? Okay, there's a granary here. Come on, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where are the remaining green units? Oh, I'll go ahead and uh, cancel these two cavalry. Go ahead and get a fanaticism. And I think I can safely delete these boats now. No one's going to bother me. Oh. Storage pit. I hope this is it. Yeah, I don't haven't memorized completely where all the computer troops are. But yeah, I'm gonna ruin their day though. Okay, green is still not defeated yet. Okay, looks like red got defeated finally, but I'm still looking for uh, green's final units, so we'll just scout around here. It's gotta be somewhere. Okay, good. Oh, okay. Looks like that's where the building was. But they finally came to their senses and resigned. So now that just leaves yellow and brown. Okay, good. I guess you have to kill all their villagers. I guess that's what it was.
All right, so I should still be able to beat this in 30 minutes, assuming I find Yellow's base. Oh, you know what I'll do? I'll actually build a tower in the enemy base. That's what I should have done at the start. I would have caused all the enemy villagers to aggro, helping me eliminate them quicker. That's where the enemy base is. I probably could have memorized ahead of time where it was, but I don't feel like replaying this level. So yeah, once you set up the defense, the rest of the level is super easy. So that's why I prefer this, this approach rather than defending at the starting location. Okay, and that's it. That's another episode of Gamer Dad. So just lift off and build your base here. With Rome's Ships and towers and walls for defense. Then move out with swordsmen. And it turns out the ballista I built wasn't even necessary. But it was just in case the enemy uh, Etruscans built priests. Well, that's it. That's been another episode. Hope you found that helpful and entertaining. And please be sure to like and subscribe so I can get a million subscribers. Make an obscene amount of money. Um, doing advertisements for Burger King, and then retire on a tropical island. Thank you.